Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm really excited about today's video because it's actually a request. Uh, someone found my old curly hair routine from a few years ago and they left me a comment asking if I would do an updated curly hair routine. They also asked me to talk about like hairstyles, but I'm gonna do that in a separate video. Today's video is just gonna be what my current curly hair routine is. It, it's been um, it's been like five years of me being on my curly hair journey and over the years I've used a lot of different products. Just for some background, this is going to be a wash and go routine because I do not own a diffuser or a hair dryer period. I don't really use heat on my hair whatsoever. This is going to be a wash and go curly hair routine. That's how I get this hair. <laughs> A couple of things before I jump into what products I'm using, I wanted to quickly touch on the kind of curly hair that I have. I would say that I have like a type 3B curl pattern and I definitely have low porosity hair. So if you're not sure what low porosity means, it just means that it's really difficult for my hair to absorb moisture. So a lot of the products that you'll see me using and a lot of the techniques that I use are for me to maximize the amount of moisture that is in my hair. Without further ado, Let's jump in to my curly hair routine. So obviously the first thing I do when I get in the shower is I wet my hair. Once my hair is soaking wet, that's when I go to shampoo. I use the Seeds Phytonutrients Anti-Frizz shampoo. I love this brand. I was introduced to them because they sent me some product last year. They sent me their moisture line, not the anti-frizz one, but I just recently purchased the anti-frizz shampoo and conditioner. And so that's what I've been using. So what I'll do is I'll use one pump of product on one side of my hair and another pump on the other side of my hair. And I just take that one pump at a time and I lather it up in between my palms and my fingers. I make sure that it's in mostly on my fingertips and I use my fingertips to really scrub my scalp, really get my scalp nice and clean. I just massage it in there and then when I'm done, I rinse it out thoroughly. After I rinse out my shampoo comes conditioning. I do this in two steps. This is just what tends to work for me. And uh, like I mentioned in my April favorites, I've really been loving the combo of these two conditioners that I use. For my initial condition, I use the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner. So when I'm in the shower, my hair naturally just parts in the center. I just take one half of my hair and I use about a quarter size amount for that one half. So what I'll do is I finger detangle my curls and then I make sure to squish and condish, which is a nice little catchphrase that I was taught from one of my um, hairstylists. Um, so I squish to condition and I finger to tangle and I do that so that I make sure that the conditioner is evenly distributed in my hair. But I also do it to maximize the amount of moisture that I get into my hair. Once I rinse out that Trader Joe's conditioner completely, I go in with my second conditioner and I'm currently using the Seeds Phytonutrients Anti-Frizz Conditioner. I'm really liking the combination of these two. Um, so I go in with about a pump and a half per side of my hair um, and I just kind of repeat the same process. I finger detangle again, I squish to condition, I make sure that I do a lot of squishing the product into my hair. Like I said, I have low porosity hair so it takes quite a bit of effort to make sure that enough moisture is getting into my hair. So once I finger detangle the second time and, and make sure to evenly condition my hair on both sides, I take my hair and I put it up into a top knot. And I do this so that I can let the product sit in my hair a little bit longer, mix in with the heat of the steam and kind of, you know, work its magic. Once I have cleaned the rest of my body in the shower, that's when I will rinse everything out. So as soon as I turn the water off, and I mean as soon as I turn the water off, I immediately grab my Carol's Daughter hair milk. It's their original leave-in conditioner. It's very watery, very slippy, or very slippy, very lightweight. And this is the first product that I use in my hair. I do not wring out the water in my hair at all. I don't put a towel on it. I don't do anything to my hair before I put this product in. What part of the reason is because I, I need that extra moisture. I need the water to get trapped into my hair. And the other part is this is lightweight enough that it mixes really well with the water. So I squish to condition again. 
I work it into my curls. I do kind of that scrunchy movement where you try to get a like a little bit more definition in the bottom of your hair. Yeah, and I focus it specifically on the ponytail parts of my hair. The next product that I'll use is a little bit heavier. It's a Define My Curls cream from the brand Eleven. This was given to me from one of my friends who wasn't using it anymore and I'm so thankful she did because I had run out of my Diva Curl product and I was not planning on repurchasing for all of the Diva Curl reasons. And so she gave me this and this worked really well in my hair so I really like it. I take about a quarter size amount and I work it into mostly the front pieces of my hair. The pieces that I feel need a little bit extra definition. Once I feel like the front is covered I will use the remainder of that product in my hands and work it into the rest of my hair and the very last place that I will put product is my scalp. It seriously freaks me out when I see people apply product directly to their scalp. I know that it kind of feels like it makes sense to like take product and then go from like the top down my hair is so prone to build up that i just i can't handle it and i've just i've just learned better <laughs> for myself so if you're finding that you're having a lot of build up and you're applying a lot of product to the top of your head i would suggest you work from bottom up because this is the hair that needs styling product more than your roots in my opinion. So once I've got that done, I will leave my hair in the middle part for about 20 minutes. After about 20 minutes when my hair is damp but not soaking wet, I will take my Seeds Phytonutrients Moisture Leave-In Treatment. It's one of the products that was originally sent to me a year ago that I have since repurchased because I like it so much. It's so lightweight. Brandon uses it in his thin wavy hair and we use it on Isaac as well. He has, he's a toddler, so he has very thin baby hair. I'll take five pumps of this moisture leave-in treatment. I focus it really specifically on this chunk of hair right here. This is um, the growth that I've had from my postpartum hair loss. I uh, lost a good amount of my hairline over here a couple months after my son was born. So because it's so short and there's nothing to weigh it down, it is super prone to just becoming a little puff ball, which is not really the look I'm going for. I kind of need my hair to have a decent shape. So focus it there and then I'll use the remaining bit of product that's left on my hands to help me move my part from a center part to a side part. I take a lot of care not to break up the clumps of curls that have already started forming. Breaking up your curls is like the easiest way to have frizz, probably on top of like using a regular towel to dry your hair. So if you want to avoid frizz, I highly recommend you not just break up the clumps, the natural clumps of curls that are forming in your hair. So I move my part over. At that point, I kind of zhuzh my roots a little bit so that nothing is really sticking, nothing is weighing down on itself. And that's it. I leave my hair alone to dry. Like I said, I don't have a hair dryer. I also just like never learned how to use one. So wash and go is how I do everything all the time. This is what my hair looks like when it's dry. And I will usually wear my hair down like this on day one and most times on day two. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me as I talk about my curly hair. <laughs> Thank you to Victoria for requesting this video. If you liked this video, I hope that you would give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel and you enjoyed this video and you want to see more from me, I would love it if you subscribed. We are, guys, 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 we're so close to a thousand subscribers and I might freak out when it happens. It's been like a goal of mine to hit a thousand subscribers this year. So anyway, if you enjoyed these videos and you want to keep watching, I would really appreciate if you subscribed. If you're new here or if you haven't watched a video in a while, you might not know that I am pregnant with my second child. And Friday, probably the one, the day this video goes up, um, is when we'll find out if we are having a boy or a girl. Last time I was pregnant, I did not wait until 20 weeks to find out, but because of quarantine, I had to wait this time. Anyway, we're very excited. So if you care to join in on the excitement, I think it'd be fun if you leave me a comment telling me whether you think you're on team boy or team girl. I will tell you right now, most everyone I have talked to in my life thinks I'm having a girl. 
so maybe that'll sway you. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's a cool, fun thing that's happening. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are staying safe and sane, staying as home as much as you can. I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> hey, Is. Hi. You wanna play in the box? Here, let's bring the box out. Uh, that might not be strong enough to hold it like that. Okay. Real life of a YouTuber. <laughs>